Hey guys, I'm back. I know it's been a while. Life has been crazy the last few weeks. We have went through so many things <laughs> that has just taken up so much of my time, but I am glad to be back. I did a, a little short on my channel um, showing the books that I had gotten, and I am finally ready to show you my eighth graders books that I've gotten for this coming school year. Uh, this is the earliest I have ever shopped for books, but I'm going to share with you what I got for my upcoming eighth grader. I'll share my third graders uh, later, but right now I got my eighth graders. So I'm going to show you my eighth graders books, what she's going to be doing this upcoming year. I may have some more to throw in there, but I've actually got all my stuff together. So I can actually tell you now what I've paid for everything. <laughs> I had to go scramble and find my receipts. I couldn't find everything, but I've got everything. So I'm going to show you um, what I've got and what I paid for it. Um, because saving money, getting stuff on a budget is something that is very, very important to me. And a lot of this stuff I got on a really good deal and I, I was really excited about that. So I'll share that with you also. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brooke. Hi, how are you? Um, if you would hit that subscribe button and help me out a whole lot if you like things like this about homeschooling and mom stuff and home stuff and working mom stuff, all, all kinds of the stuff. <laughs> Um, if you want to, if you're interested in what I have uh, coming up, if you've seen some of my other stuff and you want to see what the new stuff's going to be, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss. I try, I try <laughs> to upload once a week, but these last few weeks it has just not happened. Uh, we've went through so many things, like we had Memorial Day, my baby turned six months old, we were going through the teething, oh my goodness, it was so bad. I had probably about three to four, well, yeah, in these past weeks that I haven't uploaded um, most of that time we were not getting any sleep. He was just so restless at night um, because of the teething. And we now have two twofers on the bottom, two shiners, two little shiny twofers on the bottom. Um, and we're over the hump of the teething. Well, when he gets the top two teeth coming in next, that'll be probably another lapse in my videos <laughs> from lack of sleep and lack of organization. Um, but we're over a hump right now, so I'm going to, you'll probably see a couple of videos with me like in the same outfit, same background and everything, because I'm going to try to get a few things recorded at the same time while I can. Um, so anyway, let's jump into it. I'm glad you're here. Let's see what my eighth grader has for next school year. I'm going to do this in um, the groups of where I bought this stuff because I have like my receipts together. So I'm going to show you what I got um, online from this one store and then we'll, we'll go over to the the actual store that I went to that's local there where I got some stuff. So first off, um, let me give you a little information about why I chose what I chose. My upcoming eighth grader, I kind of went into this thinking um, about high school. Like I know, oh, I don't know exactly, but I know that when she hits ninth grade um, and we have one more year, you know, she's going into eighth grade, we've got one more year until she hits that ninth grade mark where I'm going to have to start keeping um, like her transcripts She's going to have, I want her to have, she doesn't have to, home, the homeschooling in North Carolina is, is pretty lenient um, as far as what you have to uh, take in high school. But what I'm looking at is for her to be able to have, um, you know, the basic entry level stuff for her to go to any college in North Carolina. Um, we're going to be looking at dual enrollment um, here if we can. I, I don't, I, I know a little bit about it, but uh, I'm, I'm going to look more into that. So hopefully we can do some dual enrollment when she goes into 11th and 12th grade. But aside from that, I want her to take, you know, normal public school entry level college courses in high school. So it's kind of already planned out for me, kind of what she has to take um, starting in ninth grade through 12th grade. So I was thinking for eighth grade, I wanted her to kind of get to pick what she was going to take. Um, not that I'm letting her just do whatever, but I kind of gave her some choice. For this first one, for her language, English language, all that, um, I was thinking along the lines of what she's going to be doing in the high school level and what I thought she needed help with, and something that I think that she has not gotten down pat and didn't get a lot of and get, didn't get enough instruction on, I think, or that she didn't grasp enough was writing, um, the different writing techniques, the different writing styles, like how to write like. Um, biographies or creative stories you know and how to how to do research papers um how to how to how to even form the paragraphs you know like doing an introductory and doing the body and the closing things like that like i don't i just didn't feel like she got enough of that um so what i found and i was not going looking for this in particular but i just had in mind that i wanted her to do some sort of writing and this is what i found and i these first ones let me Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I got these from christianbook.com. This is one of their um, 
magazines that come with some of the orders. So christianbook.com, not sponsored or anything like that, but this is where I shop and where I go to get um, the sales because they will, like if you, um, let's see, trying to just think, for instance, okay, right here on the front, they're advertising ACE curriculum. If you go to the ACE website and they're having a sale, you go to christianbook.com, they will also have the same price. If any of these curriculums are having a sale on their own website, 99% of the time, Christian Book is going to be offering the same sale. It's like, so you can go to christianbook.com and shop all these different, I don't know how many different <laughs> curriculums christianbook.com has. It's a one-stop shop kind of thing. Like you can go there and see all the different curriculums and get their best prices. So I love shopping christianbook.com. So anyway, let me go back to this. Writers in Residence. I've got two different books here. Whoop, that one's backwards. Writers in Residence. This is a huge book, but I, I like how it's laid out. I'm not going to go into too much detail about what this is. I may do some uh, future videos about what all um, it entails, but she's going to go through. This is an all-in-one book, so she's going to write in this book. Um, this is the Answer Key book. This book is going to go through, I think it's four or five different types of writing, and it's kind of like a story. Um, I'm not, I told you I wasn't going to go into too much detail, but I'm excited for her to do this because it's going to give her step by step how to do different types of writing. Um, like it, when she's doing the um, the like fiction writing, it gives her prompts and it'll do like one step at a time. So she's going to have one step at a time. And this whole you know 180 days is broke down into it's either four or five. Um, I can't remember how many stories she's going to be or how many how many types of writing she's going to be doing but 180 days if it's five at the at the most i'm pretty sure um 180 days divided by five she's going to get a lot of days to work on one particular type of writing um and i think she's kind of excited i've showed her this um she's kind of excited to do that because she does my eighth grader does love writing she likes making her own stories um and i think that she's going to be interested in this. Um, and there's also some grammar uh, type things in there. So with every section, she's going to have a, like, it'll go over like nouns, pronouns, all that kind of stuff. Um, and a little bit more advanced level. So I think this, I don't even, I wasn't even looking for like an eighth grade curriculum. So I, I don't think this is eighth grade level. It might be a little bit lower or something that you could use for multiple different grade levels, but I think it's going to work great. And it's going to get her in good practice for writing when she gets into high school. Okay, for this, I got this in April. This is the earliest I have ever shopped for homeschool material. For I shopped in April, and we didn't finish school until the end of May. <laughs> so this, Writers in Residence, Volume 1 Apprentice Book, I got for $15.89, and I think it was like 80% off. They were having a crazy sale when I was shopping for this. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this book and this book together was like $100. So... I paid $15.89 for this, brand new, and the answer key was $1.39 because I believe it was also like 80% off. So $1.39 or $1.39 and $15.89 for those two books. That was crazy. All right, next thing I got, um, we are a Christian family, and I wanted her to do some Bible study. We, last year, because I was pregnant during the beginning of the school year, had my son in December and finished out the rest of the year. I knew that our year was going to be crazy. We didn't even do a Bible curriculum last year. Um, so I definitely wanted to get back into that. We just did the, I knew the year was going to be crazy. So when we went into it, we did the four core subjects, um, you know, math, English, science, history. That was all we did. So this year we're definitely jumping back into it and do some Bible. For her, at first I was thinking like I just wanted to do something pretty easy and I found these and this was also from christianbook.com it's new testament eyewitness and old testament eyewitness and it's pretty much it's it's not even really like a christian viewpoint it's kind of uh, the history of it and I, I like the way it's laid out like you it's like written on scrolls so it goes through and it pretty well just tells the history um of like how it was written, who wrote it originally, just really, really neat facts. Um, but this, my, my daughter reads like crazy. And you see, this isn't like an actual, you know, like there's pictures and things. She will read both of these in one day. So once I ordered these and got them here, I was like, nah, we're going to need, <laughs> we're going to need something more than that. Because yeah, she's going to read through this. She, she would read both of these in one day and be done. 
So I'm definitely going to have her do this. It may be like a morning thing um, where, you know, she does this just for a, until they get started with their day fully. It might be like a morning reading or something. Um, so for those, I paid, let's see, the Old Testament eyewitness was $8. It was on sale. The New Testament eyewitness was also $8. It was on sale. Um... I don't want to jump around, but since I got Bible in two different two different places, let me go ahead and show you what I what I did for her other for her actual Bible because I was gonna do these for her curriculum for the year, but it just wasn't enough once it got here. Um, so I got this. This is obviously it's a level six. She's going into eighth grade, but I flipped through this in the store um, and. I think it's going to be really good for her. It's a lot of, it's going to be daily work. She's going to have something to do every day. It gives her um, Bible verses, chapters to look in to do the answers for every day. It gives um, things to that go on for the week. Um, she's going to, this is a write-in book, so she'll write in this book. Um, and again, it's sixth grade level, but it's got daily work that you do. It's teaching you, um, you know, about basic Bible stories um, it goes into some more detail of stuff. I, I mean, I, even though it's not eighth grade, I think it's a good, it had a lot of good information in it. It is only sixth grade level, but I think it's right where she needs to be for that. For that one, I paid $29.17. $29.17 for that. Um, Bible Truths. Uh, this is Bob Jones, I forgot to tell you. BJU Press, Bob Jones University. Um, that. Is her Bible so she's she's gonna do those little books for just some extra stuff and then that's gonna be her main Bible curriculum so let me go back to what I ordered from Christian book okay for her science I just this was kind of like her her English or language I just I kind of let her pick because she has did not do I mean I say she didn't do well she did not like science <laughs> this past year because it was kind of just a repeat of what she did the year before we were doing uh, Life Pack by Alpha and Omega Science, and that just, it wasn't working for her. It was just, she was bored with it. And there was a lot of stuff that, like, a lot of stuff that she just was not interested in at all. And so with the mindset of me knowing that she's going to have to do certain things in certain grades when she gets to high school level, I asked her what she wanted to do for eighth grade. I wanted it to be kind of fun, something she was going to be interested in. And she didn't really know what to tell me. So her answer was basically like something about animals and something about plants. So I found something about animals and something about plants. <laughs> so what we got, let me separate this. We have got uh, Exploring the World of Biology. I don't even know what this, oh, Memoria Press. <laughs> I had not even looked at what it, who it was by. Masterbooks, masterbooks.com. This is the first master books I've ever done. Um, so this is Exploring the World of Biology. J.H. Tenner's Exploring the World. And we've got three different books here to go with this. And this is going to, I've already kind of planned out her year. Not exactly day to day. Like I just know about how much she needs to do um, every week-ish to get this done in half the year. And then she's going to do this other one that I'll show you in a second for the last half of the year. So first half of the year is biology. And this goes from like... Um, bacteria and funguses all the way up to people then the last one is called frauds hoaxes and wishful thinking so it i'm not exactly sure what it's going to be talking about but it's going to i think it's going to be talking about like unicorns and things like that <laughs> about how and why they do or don't exist <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble um but yeah she's she's gonna like that it's a basic overview of the different types of animals the different animal kingdoms she's got the let's see this is the student book she's or the reader book actually so no writing in this one this one's just the reader book let me get my let me get my prices out here this one was ten dollars and 74 cent it was also i think like 80 percent off i might be wrong on that but it was it was super cheap ten dollars and 74 cent for the reader book i do not I, I do wish this was in color this would have been so so much more interesting i think to her if this would have been in color but it's in black and white um, so that one is the reader book. And then we have the supplemental student questions. Um, 
I don't know how we're going to go about this. If this is going to be an everyday thing or if I'm going to go through and just have her do some of this. But we'll see. This will also be how I get her um, tests to do some of her grading. Um, I think it has reviews. Yep. So like after chapter three, you have a review and then chapters four through seven, then you have a review. So that'll be kind of how I pull out um, grades for her tests, things like that. So that one, the supplemental book, was $4.75. <laughs> and then the teacher key and test key was $7.35. Again, not nothing's in color um, in the printed part. The outside are really pretty. <laughs> the covers are really pretty. So I think she's going to like that. That'll be her first half of the year in science. And then the second half is going to be the book of trees. So, student workbook. So, she'll have, she'll read out of this book. She'll answer the questions in the student workbook. And then in the back of this one, this was something that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. She's going to go through um, like the basic, not just trees, like it says book of trees, but she's going to go through a lot of things about plants. Um, learning the different parts of plants, the different types of plants, different types of trees. It's not, it's not just trees, like the types of fruits that grow on trees. Um, and it's like, this says advanced work. This goes into photosynthesis. Um, we've got a, um, you go into kind of like the chemical breakdowns of things. Um, it's a little bit of everything in this book. But something that I am excited about that I have planned out that she's going to do, I'm doing this for the last half of the year because the last half of this book is a tree project. So she has a tree observation and she's going to do 15 different types of trees where she will study all different kinds of things about it. The, the bark of the tree, what kind of fruit the tree has. She's going to have to draw pictures of it. Uh, she's going to do... Uh, white, what type of flower, what type of fruit, all that kind of thing. And she's going to learn at least 15 different types of trees that are around our area. And I think she's going to really enjoy that. So we're doing biology and learning about animals on the first half of the year and then learning about trees and plants the second half of the year. Oh, let me tell you the price on that one. The Book of Trees. Let's see here. Book of Trees, the student book, was $14.19. And then the, where'd it go? Oh, it's on the back. This one was $12.71. So that's her science. And then what else we got here? We did language, science, history. We love knotgrass history. <laughs> if you don't, if you've never heard of knotgrass, I definitely encourage you to look into it. I we, this is our, this will be our third year using knotgrass. Is that right? Yeah, third year using knotgrass. Um, I don't see us ever using anything different. The books that I have used for the last two years for my oldest daughter, I'm saving those books and we will be reusing them for my younger daughter. Um, and then maybe even when my son gets up to that age, they're really good books. Um, and history doesn't change a whole lot. So the books should still be, even if they come out with new editions, we might still be okay to use those same books. <laughs> So I haven't even opened this. It's still in the in the paper. So I'm going to rip this off real quick so I can not have to hold up all three of these books at one time to show you. I'll go ahead and tell you what I paid for these while we're doing this. I got this at a store. We have a local, um, well I say local, it's like 20-30 minutes away from me. But it's a Christian supply center. Um, so it's like, a, it's like a Christian bookstore. But half the store is homeschool material. And they also price match. So I had looked up um, the stuff that I got from them and most of my, my third grader stuff come from them and I'll, I'll do that in another video. Um, but they, like I said, they price match. So I had already looked up what I was going to be getting from them online and then I, I went up there. I forgot they price matched. <laughs> I went up there to see if I could get better prices and while I was up there, I they, you know, I was talking to the, the lady there and, and she was like, you know, if you've got any good, any prices that are better than ours, we'll definitely price match. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be done with my shopping when I leave here because I'm going to get it all here. The store that I shop at, if you show their price of the curriculum, you know, like if Knotgrass was running a sale um, and you have a cheaper price on from the website and you print it out for them to see, they will match that. Even if their price in the store would have been higher, they'll, they'll 
price match that lower price. So I actually got a better deal on some of the stuff that I got from my younger daughter because I had looked up the price beforehand. Um, and they price matched it. Even the ones that were on sale and they weren't any longer on sale because I had looked up the price like a week or, four, a week or so beforehand. Um, and it wasn't on sale anymore, but they were like, no, we'll do that. We'll price match that. <laughs> I was happy to take advantage of that. So for history, we've got Uncle Sam and you. And let me get this. That comes with so many different books. This one um, has, let's see, this is part two. This is part one, Uncle Sam and you. This is going to go over like, it's like an eighth grade, seventh, eighth grade level um, civics curriculum. Um, so I'm really excited about this. this I've looked through it online, um, you know, what this curriculum or what this course offers. And it's a lot of stuff that I don't even remember learning when I was in this grade or even in middle school or high school. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. And I love Knotgrass. I love how sturdy these books are. Um, it's all color. Oh, let's see if I can get this open. These are big books. They're all colored. So it's not boring to look at for my daughter. She likes to be not entertained but she gets bored easy so she likes these books she's never really complained about it um because i think she enjoys them so that's what she's doing for her history and there's a lot of things that go along with it we've got so many books this is the student workbook this is the lesson review book for each lesson there'll be questions citizen's handbook civics in action i believe this has like quotes and speeches and things in it um yep this is a, a part of a speech by george w bush here um something written by grover cleveland abraham lincoln um a field trip to the capitol is talking about all different things you would do if you visited the capitol um just all kinds of stuff in here this is this is all reading material um, we've got the answer key. We've got the two books. So part one and part two. And these are really pretty. Like just sitting on the bookcase. <laughs> I like having these on my bookcase because they're just so pretty. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let me tell you the price on that one. I got this one, like I say, at the Christian bookstore. And this was all together. No, not all together. They bring it up separate. So we've got, and this is a little pricey, but this has... Uh, a lot of different things in it it's not just history um, and then when even when you get up into like the high school level stuff there are things in there that count as uh, like you could have uh, get a half credit for geography um, you can get a language literature credit because in each chapter I'm trying to get to the end of one of these units so I can show you um, there are different things that you do like you've got that lesson book and then here we go lesson activities right here lesson activities this one has thinking biblically thinking sorry my son was crying i had to pause for a second all right so the activities in this one you have thinking biblically it tells you um like this one is to copy some bible verses down into a notebook so you've got bible um literature this come let's see uh it's telling you to read something in the citizen handbook um, along with that, there's also books. Um, I didn't order the books or get the books there because I will just find the books somewhere cheaper. Um, sometimes I can get them free off of my Kindle um, with Prime. Sometimes we can just get them at the library and my daughter reads so quickly, you know, we can, she can go through the book and read the book that she's supposed to go, that goes along with the different lessons. Um, she can read that before we have to turn it back into the library. Um, so you get literature along with this. You get Bible. Then there's creative writing and it gives a little thing about writing a paragraph or two um, so you get the literature and writing um, this is different it says picture this is one of the one of the titles of one of the activities it says take a photograph or draw a picture of the place your family meets with your church this this first lesson um, was a lot about different types of churches I believe or different places where there are some historical churches um, and then the lesson review student workbook or lesson review so if you've got those books then you would do that extra work so you read a lesson and then you have these different activities that go along with it and you can pick and choose what which ones they do so if you want to go ahead and do the literature which we're going to do and the creative writing and then she's going to have along with well I say not, not the creative writing. I'm going to let her skip the creative writing in this one because she's doing so much writing in her language for this year. But the literature, she's going to be reading. Um, so she'll have her literature included with her history. Okay, now let me go back. Where was I? 
Okay, Uncle Sam and you. We have, oh, I'm not sure which book is which because it doesn't, it wasn't printed out. The whole title wasn't printed out. So we got 100, 11. So there's 111 plus 13, 124. Let's see, was that all of it? 124? I believe that was it. It come in three different packets. $124. Yep, $124 for those. So that is, oh, I forgot her math. Okay, so for her math, we're doing teaching textbooks. We did this last year. Um, last year was our first year using teaching textbooks and it was really, really good for my daughter. We, she has struggled with math. We tried a different curriculum when we left, um, you know, her traditional school in 2020 for her sixth grade level we tried a different uh, uh, we tried a different curriculum than what she was doing um, and then last year in seventh grade we switched to teaching textbooks i don't remember how i found it i think it was just watching some youtube videos and different curriculum reviews and we gave it a try and it was great she is caught up we did our sat tests and her uh level went way up above her she she tested above eighth grade level <laughs> and last year we had to bump back because she had struggled so much in seventh grade she did fifth and sixth grade math and she still she understood the concepts like it just it sunk in um to the point that where when we did the sats this year she tested above eighth grade level so i'm really excited to keep using this curriculum and for my younger younger daughter to use it too um so teaching textbooks if you don't know what that is it's an online curriculum um, i might do a a video on that later but just go look it up it's all online you don't have to do anything they just log in they do the they explain the lessons to them they grade it you can go in as the parent and look at the like the grade book or yeah the grade book and it keeps up with the daily um average um and last year uh my daughter stayed at like a 93 average which was great for her <laughs> um but yeah teaching textbooks online is her math and then everything that you saw here i may throw some extra things in there if i do i'll let you know um, in a later video what we what extra things we're going to do but i think this is going to give her plenty to do <laughs> this upcoming school year um that is it for today look out for another video i will show you what my third grader is going to be doing um plus i've got some other things that are going to be popping up you'll probably see a few videos back to back here to make up for all the time that i missed over the last couple of weeks so anyway that's it for today thanks for watching bye